Okay, here's a brief overview of the tools that you'll need or will find handy when uh, doing this job. You're going to need a drill for drilling out rivets with a new drill bit. You might as well buy two. Uh, you're going to want uh, a 4.5 and a 5. The 5 is, is actually fine. Then you're going to need a flat-headed screwdriver, a pair of pliers, and a hammer, uh, mostly for the forked end. So make sure it's a hammer with a forked end. You're going to need some sort of a strong piece of wire that is bent. And this is going to be because you're going to have to um, adjust some spring, a, a spring inside the bar. Then if you don't find correct sized screws, if they're too long, you will also need a pair of bolt cutters to clip off the extra screw at the end. These are screws that would be replacing the rivets, which are set in at the factory and which you will be replacing with machine screws. You're going to need bolt cutters to clip off the extra screw and a file to file down the sharp edges. Okay, so this is the part that you're going to need to switch out. And on your stroller, it's broken here. And um, so I'm going to show you how to remove it. And then you can just use the same process in reverse in order to put the new part in place. And I'll discuss that a little bit as well. So one thing first to notice, we're going to flip this over. This here is a cap. That you can pry off with a flathead screwdriver. It has these little teeth on the back side. You want to be relatively careful to keep this in order. Um, if necessary, if you mess this up, you can replace this whole bit with a, a screw, but it's much better to have the original part. These teeth you're going to want to pry out carefully flat before you put it back in place. Uh, after you're done, you can slide this pin that's here back through, and then you're going to put this back on. And you can more or less just press it, but if you have to, then you can um, like have something flat underneath and use some rubber on top to preserve the um, dome shape and hammer. Now this pin that goes through is attached to a spring that's also attached to this rivet and that's what creates this. So since we're going to have to remove both the rivet and the pin, we're going to have to, when we're putting it back together, get the pin and the screw, which we'll replace the rivet for, to go through either end of the spring. So we're just going to re remove this now. You can also just use a hammer here. It's an easy way. You can't slide this off this bent end. It has to go off the other way. Now the next step is going to be to drill out this rivet and this rivet from the other side. When you're drilling a rivet, you want to drill from the side that has this ring and not from the cap side, and you want to use a completely new drill bit, or one that's maybe been used once. Don't, don't just use old drill bits, because you're drilling rivets that are holding plastic parts, and if the drill isn't very effective, very sharp and quick to remove the rivet, then the rivet will start to melt the plastic, which will deform the parts. So I'm actually going to just clip this one because it's easier for, I'm not going to need these parts. But in your case, you're going to put your drill here, like this. And you're going to drill like this, and I'll, I'll actually show you with the other one. This one is, is a bit hard. So you're going to have to work at it for a while. And for that purpose, I'm just going to clip it because I don't need the rest of the parts. But showing you how to drill out a rivet, we'll use this one. began to loosen on the back side and began to push through the plastic. There's going to be some damage to the plastic a little bit. It's impossible to make it so there's no damage unless you have really good tools. But it's popped out a bit on this side and now you're just going to take it with your hammer and pop it out. And now you can see from the other side it's more or less okay. Very, very little 
widening of this hole. And what you're going to do, uh, if you have widened the hole on your plastic, very careful not to lose control of the drill and drill to the side. Because if the drill goes a bit through the, the plastic, then you can put a washer there around the screw and that'll give it uh, sufficient strength. So now I've drilled out this and what that is going to allow me to do is in addition to removing the part that we need to remove is I can now remove this cap. And that's going to be important when you're putting the other part back in place because it's from here that you're going to get at that spring that's inside. And you can use like a wire that you hook or um, anything that has a, a hook or a hole on it that you can slide in. So now I, as I said, I'm just going to clip this part. But you're going to need this piece, so I recommend trying to drill it. Uh, if you have to clip, then you can, but then you'll probably have to find some other plastic rings. Okay, so now I have removed this. You are going to have two of these little parts like this. I didn't actually notice, I think it's the same side as this, the left side. If it's the right side, you're also going to have the safety, uh, which is like a metal part that hangs down. If this is the case, then take contact if you have problems. You basically just need to put it back together the same way you took it apart. But now I can remove this from the pole, and I can also show you what this is going to look like inside. So it's like this, and actually it goes like this because this little pin that went through, right, this piece here, slides up and down in the center of this bar, and this is around it, and the other rivet is around there, and when this pulls like this, then you get that, um, that uh, spring motion. That's how that functions. So it's basically just a matter of working that from the inside. Now you can take this new part, and uh, after you've removed your old, slide it on and replace everything with screws. Now, you're going to need a very long screw for this part that goes into the easy click. So go to Yarnia or Class Olsen or some sort of hardware store uh, with uh, the dimensions that you need and find them. I think it'll be also a little bit thicker than the rivet that goes through lower. So bring both of these rivets with you and find parts that work. Usually you won't find the exact length, and what I tend to do after I have put it on, I use a longer than necessary screw, and then clip it and sand the edge. I hope this helped. If not, of course, contact me.